Welcome to the second part of the AQA 2012 uh, Comp 1 Program Exam Solution Tutorials. Um, but this is still validating the Get Menu Choice uh, function, and this time we're going to do a type check. So basically, stop the program crashing. At the moment, if I type Bob into the Menu Choice, um, it will just crash. It will just fall over because ultimately it needs to convert it to an integer. So uh, we're still going to use a do loop, we're still going to use a boolean to exit the loop, but we're going to use a try catch statement instead. So let's cut straight to the code and um, have a look at that. Um, I'm not going to build on top of the previous validation, I'm going to do a clean validation then we'll look how to stick them both together afterwards. So the first thing I need to do is give myself some space and let's stick in um, the, a boolean and a do loop with the exit when the we're saying the boolean is true and then we'll just control that boolean as part of the, the validation. Uh, the next thing we need to do is actually put in a try catch statement and the format of the try catch statement is try and then catch and basically it's just a posh if statement. It's if the program crashes um, do this thing within the catch. So in other words try and do everything in the first bit if it's fine, great. If it crashes, then stop running it and do whatever's in the in the second bit, the catch part of the statement. Uh, that's the rough idea. If you don't know how, to, if you don't know what try catch is or how it works, you need to look that up. Um, so I've obviously placed my input within the try section of the try catch. Uh, I now need to assign my values to my boolean. So obviously if everything's fine I want my valid choice to be true and if it's not fine I want valid choice, uh, valid choice to be false so that it would go again and ask for the input again if it if it crashed. And just as before I suppose I better put in a message as well so let's do that. So as you can see it's exactly the same format as the range check but now um, we're using a try catch instead of the if statement. That's the basic gist. Let's do a quick test. So a sensible test would be uh, any character that isn't an integer. So let's type in A. And the validation's worked. Uh, let's type in a bigger string. And the validation has worked. Let's type in a correct number first. So let's do 1. That's still fine. Right, let's go back to the main menu. And don't forget we haven't got the validation for um, an incorrect number at the moment. So if I type in 5 now, this should still fall, fall over. Um, and uh, we can see it just as... Uh, it's actually gone back to the point because it would have fallen over, but the try catch has, uh, has caught it. So, But we haven't explicitly put in... Um, the range validation yet, but we'll have a look in a moment about how to do that. So uh, if I type in 9, that should exit the code. Wonderful. 